Hello, this is Robert Foley from Startup Kitchen. I'm here with Frank, who's going to be coming to the kitchen party on May 6th on Tuesday, and he's going to be helping out doing the pitches with the lightning round and whatnot. But instead of me telling you about Frank, I'm going to in let Frank introduce himself. So Frank, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, Rob, I'm really happy to, and I really look forward to being there. So something really quick about me, I'm going to be coming in the capacity of a pitch coach. So let me just start talking about why, what I do as a pitch coach. I've seen probably 400 companies in the last few years doing pitches and over the last several years somewhere between 1500 and 2000 pitches so you know I look forward to seeing more because I just want to keep building that I want to hit 5000 pitches um, but in terms of background I have a corporate background I worked for IBM and Bank of Montreal for a bunch of years I've been in the startup community for almost 10 years in all kinds of different roles from angel investor to founder to uh, various board roles and I try to package all those things together so that I can help people figure out how to pitch for money by looking at uh, the issue of pitching for money through various eyes. That's me. Excellent. Good to get to know you, Frank. So why are you excited to come to Fredericton and Planet Hatch? Well, I'm always excited to go to places where there's a lot of startup activity happening. Uh, I think it's a vibrant environment. Uh, Planet Hatch is. There's all, all the different accelerators and incubators that I go to. Uh, I find it invigorating. It keeps me young. I, I like it because it, it really represents, I think, the future of business and the future of Canada. Uh, all of the startup activity that's going on, the, the great ideas that are bringing brought to, the, brought to the forefront. You know, not all great ideas make it. So it's a it's a process. It's a grind to figure out which ones really resonate with people, which ones can attract money, and which ones are going to create the jobs of tomorrow. So I'm excited about all that. Excellent. So what final advice would you give to anyone who is going to be pitching their ideas, your potential startups, to you on Tuesday? Oh, that's real easy. Be passionate, know your stuff, and be convincing. You know, treat me as if you would treat any kind of investor or somebody that you're meeting on an elevator or, you know, passing by on the street when they say to you, hey, I haven't seen you for a while, what are you up to? Well, you know, you've got to capture my interest in 15 seconds so that I'm really, really interested in what you're doing. And if I was an investor, I want to be able to say to you, you know what, that sounds really cool. Let's get together tomorrow or an hour from now. Or, you know what, I have another meeting that I'm going to, but I'm going to delay that because I really want to learn what you're doing. And the way you do that is be, be passionate and be convincing. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, tell us a little bit about what's going to happen on Tuesday. And we look forward very much to seeing you and hoping that you can offer some advice and whatnot. Maybe we can have a drink as well. Well, I'll do right. that, Rob, and, uh, you know, this, this was easy. I practiced for four days for this. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> All, All right. right. We'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks, Frank. Bye-bye. Right. everybody.